Today's activity is that you're going to be using the virtual physics lab simulation that is looking at the effect of damping and resonance. And actually, today's activity is that you're going to be planning an experiment. You're going to use the simulation, see how it operates, and with that, you're going to write a plan for an experiment that you're going to carry out. So at the end of today's lesson, you should be at a position where you can submit that plan. This is something that the exam board uh, need us to have evidence that you're able to actually plan an experiment. So let me just give you a quick introduction to what the simulation looks like. Over here, we've got three controls, one that will allow you to change the mass, another one that, that will allow you to change the spring constant. I don't expect you to change those. You can do if you want to, but you don't need to. However, as part of the experiment, you will be adjusting the damping on the system. And the idea is that as you change the damping, you'll go through a number of processes where you'll get a different resonant profile here, depending on the amount of damping that you've got. Let's just see what we've got over here. We've got a frequency controller there, which is uh, giving a value of 0.5 for the frequency there. Over here, we've got two little diagrams. One, the yellow line there that indicates the movement of the driver, the thing that's causing the thing to oscillate. The green line is showing you the response of the object there. That's the driven object here. Now on the right hand side, you can see that this has recorded the maximum uh, amplitude of the driven object for that particular frequency. When that value has stopped changing, you can record the data and you'll see that there is a data point has been plotted on the graph there. At that point, let's change the frequency Let's change the frequency of the driver to 0.6. And immediately we can see that the effect of that on the driven object is that it's getting closer to a resonant frequency. Again, what we'll do here is wait until that value there, the maximum recorded value, stops going any higher. And then we'll record the data. And that will plot that on the graph there. Let's just do a couple more, 0.7. Increase the frequency up to 0.7. And again, we can see that this time the amplitude is getting even higher. Let's wait until that value stops getting any higher. In fact, I think that's it there. It doesn't appear to be getting any higher. In fact, the amplitude is reducing now. So I can record that as the maximum amplitude of the driven object at 0.7. Let's do 0.8 and 0.9 as well. There's 0.8, that seems to have got to its maximum already. And 0.9. 0.9 there. And again, that has reached its maximum already. So we've got that, which is a very crude um, profile there. Obviously, if we want to make it better, we could add some extra values. For example, we could go back down here and see what happens at 0.4. Again, it seems to have uh, got to its maximum displacement, 2.31. Doesn't seem to be changing much there. Obviously, this control here steps it up in steps of 0.1. But there's nothing to stop me actually typing some numbers in here. So, for example, I could do uh, 0.65. Let's see what happens if I put 0.65 in there. Again, we're going to wait until that amplitude has reached its peak. I think it stopped going up at that point there. It's now going down. Let's record that data there. And you can see that we're getting a slightly different profile it might if i was continuing this experiment i might want to investigate a little bit more as to what's happening in this region there but i think that's enough of an introduction to show you how this application works as i say get a laptop get the virtual physics lab running and investigate see what happens with damping and resonance and just a reminder the purpose of today's lesson is that by the end of the lesson that you'll be able to submit a profile, uh, sorry, a report that tells you how you're going to plan to carry out this experiment.